you're looking at a very unique 1967 Mustang. Now what makes it so unique? It's the options. This car has almost every single option, factory option that is, that was available in 1967. And it was purpose built that way by a restorer who wanted a full option Mustang convertible. Couldn't find one. And uh, naturally they're hard to find because Ford made very few full option convertibles in 1967. They were simply too expensive for the average car buyer back in the day. Even the dealers, if you went to the dealers and you went and looked at what they had on their showroom floor, there'd be very few full option cars. They didn't put full option cars on their floor hoping someone would come by and buy it. No, you had to go in to that dealer, sit down and special order that car with all those options that you wanted. And that's exactly what was done here. But what's even cooler, not only is it equipped with all the options of the day, or almost every single option of the day, it was also taken from a standard C-Code 289 performance level to a K-Code Hypo 289 performance level, making this the dream car of 1967. And that's what it is. It's a thrill to drive, it's a joy to be in, it's just special in every way. Now there are a lot of ways to restore or build a 50 year old Mustang. Going out and finding all the rare original DNA components to build into one is by far the hardest and most expensive approach. But you end up with a car that everybody can relate to and everybody loves and it has more value. Now, how expensive is it? Well, let me just give you an example. From my experience, you're talking about another 15 to 20 grand to take a standard bare bones plain Jane Mustang and build it into a full option razzle dazzle Mustang. And that's what we have right here. Let's take a look at some of those options. Okay, let's start with the interior as we look at all the options. It has the deluxe simulated wood steering wheel, which I love. And in addition to that, you'll see that it has the dash components, all the dash fascia is dressed out with the deluxe brushed aluminum. It's really a handsome look, I just love that, with the corresponding brushed aluminum on the door and brushed aluminum on the console. So it has the optional console, and you can see it's an automatic car. You can see the selector indicator there in the console. You can see that it's a eight track AM radio, very rare, very cool option. You can see that it has the optional tack and the optional clock. And it's got the, if you were able to look down under the dash here, you'd see a bunch of extra switches, one for a power top, which is certainly an option, and one for the fog lights, yet another option. And it has a manual pull for the carburetor because it's set up like a K code. So it's got a choke for the carburetor uh, that attaches to the inside of the car. Now, coming to what I think is the most beautiful part of the interior are the deluxe seats, and this is one of the most sought after components by 67 Mustang lovers. They've become extremely expensive in today's market, but they're beautiful. They just add a level of elegance and sophistication to a Mustang. Um, by and large, the entire presentation is something quite nice. And I even put the GT floor mats, which are kind of a signature thing for our cars. I like them quite a bit. Goes with the GT stripes on the external part of the car. Very cool presentation. Now, let's check the outside of the car and see what options are readily visible. Okay, let's walk around the car. Let's start here in the rear. You immediately notice that this car has some unique characteristics about it, stuff that you don't normally see. Well, let's start with the rear grill. This is a one year only option. 1967 is the only year you would have a rear grill. And it would either come color coded to the car, Wimbledon white, or in this color that you see right here. I love it. I think it adds a, a very unique look to the car. And then of course, there's the luggage rack. Uh, you could have gone to your dealer, or when you ordered your car, you could say, I want a luggage rack. And it was most likely dealer installed. That's what you have right here is a, a 1967 Mustang luggage rack. It adds a lot to the car. I think it looks super cool. And of course, the GT components. You've got your GT call out right here on the pop open gas cap, which is a really cool component. And then you've got the GT exhaust tips. They're the proper tips with the proper cutouts. Uh, it's a GT. 
All right, well, let's walk around and see what else we can see that's optional on this car. All right, let's see what else we have. Well, of course, you have the GT, in this case, GTA call out here, the emblem down here, the GT stripe running down the side of the car, the super cool blinker hood with functional blinkers in it, and the remote mirror. Now, let's check under the hood and see what else there is. Okay, here we are under the engine bay, but before we start talking about all these components under here, notice the fog lamps, of course, part of the GT package. They function properly as they should. You hit a switch inside the car, they come on independent of the front headlights. It's got the amber lenses, and I, I, I think that's a good look. All right, so in the engine bay, a couple of things you notice right off the bat. It has a modern AC compressor because it has a modern AC system, modern heat system. Car's a lot more practical and enjoyable year round with this upgrade, and I definitely love that. And of course, you see all the high performance dress up components like the open element air cleaner and the uh, Cobra powered by Ford valve covers. But sit sitting between that is the super rare, super desirable factory period correct aluminum high rise intake manifold, says Cobra right here on it. You could have purchased this directly from. Carroll Shelby himself are from Ford back in the day. It has the high performance four barrel carburetor nested on top of that with the manual choke pull going into the cabin like I mentioned earlier and that's a K-code signature component. All right, additionally, of course, there's some internal upgrades that make this motor uh, have that extra sizzle and thrill when you give it the gas and it has power steering and power disc brakes. All right. Let's fire it up, let's listen to the exhaust note, and let's go for that test drive. I'll reach in here and turn the key. That sounds so good. Well, all right, let's go on that test drive. Okay, so here we are on our test drive. Now, I made a lot of fuss about options. Why is that? Well, the best way to explain it is think of real estate and the old adage of location, location, location. Location has a dramatic impact on the value of real estate. Uh, in classic cars, it's options, options, options. Options have a dramatic impact on the value of a classic car. Well, why is that? Well, several reasons. One is they have a, a big impact on the visual appearance of that car. Options make a difference. And the second is, is they have a big impact on the experience in that car. What it's like to drive it, what it's like to be in it, what it's like to own it. Options matter. A simple case in point would be power steering, power disc brakes, and air conditioning. Makes a difference in the car. Okay, so we're almost to the highway. We'll see what it runs like going down the road. Acceleration is a non-issue. This little car likes to run. It definitely is a very snappy 289. So we're going highway speed, 55, 60. And it will easily accelerate if you need to pass someone. This car is so stable and so tight. Here's some really rough railroad tracks. Takes those really nice. Okay, let's turn around and go the other direction. Turns very easy.
Okay, let's try the kick down. You've got to love a 289 when it's right, especially when it's built to closer to a K-code performance than the factory stock performance. They're a lot of fun. And you can see why there's a cult-like following for a good little 289. Well, that's it for the test drive. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, click like and subscribe to our channel. Come back. We're treasure hunters. My son and I look for the unusual, the high option, the rare, hard to find, eye-popping, beautiful cars. And that's what we buy. And if you like to see those type cars, come back and you'll see more of them. Also, check out our website, myrod.com. I think you'll enjoy it. Adios. Thank you.